you know, you know that expression that says, well, you can't make this stuff up. Well, this is one of those times when that expression makes the most sense. I know you've heard this, but I want you to hear it from my point of view. A planned parenthood. Isn't that interesting? Just the term planned parenthood. Actually, it deals most of the time with the expurgation, the bodlerizing, the uh, removal of any chance of parenthood. But anyway, I don't want to get into the specifics of that, but I always found that interesting. It's called planned childlessness. In any event, a planned parenthood clinic, listen to this, will be offering people free vasectomies. Hey, hey. And abortions. That's right, everybody. During the DNC convention, which is scheduled to begin in Chicago, manana. Planned Parenthood Great Rivers, or PPGR as they call it, along with the Chicago Abortion Fund and the Wieners Circle. That's right, please, kids, no jokes. The Wieners Circle will be providing, quote, free vasectomies and medication abortion. Good news, huh? This is at the Planned Parenthood Great Rivers Mobile Health Clinic. This is according to them. So you were there once I was saying, hey, listen, honey, I'd love to catch up with you. Maybe I'll, I'll catch up with you. Maybe we'll get a vasectomy and you can get an abortion. We'll meet up. At the, uh, at the Wiener Schnitzel after. I, I mean, this is, you know, it makes sense, right? Now, according to the New York Times, the mobile health clinic will be set up, quote, blocks away from the DNC. So, a little post op, you can perambulate back into the festivities and watch Gamala being crowned. Now, this PPGR, as they call it, uh, which is part of the St. Louis region and Southwest Missouri, or Missouri as people say for reasons I've never understood, is described as being, quote, the leading provider, educator, and director, or protector, rather, of sexual and reproductive health care in the St. Louis region, Missouri, Ozarks, and beyond. This is according to their website. And they say, here we come, Chicago. Good news. Our mobile health clinic will be in the West Loop with Shy Abortion Fund, and the Wiener Circle. I know what you're thinking. Please, no wiener jokes. Let it go. For the first time, okay? I know how you were during the Anthony Wiener thing. Let it go. They're going to be providing free vasectomies and medication abortion. You know, just, I guess you're going to just show up, have a vasectomy in the back of a truck? I don't know. Now, the Wieners Circle, W-I-E-N-E-R-S, which features items on its menu such as charburger, hot dogs, <laughs> wrote that all patients at the mobile health clinic will get a free hot dog coupon. That's right. A hot dog. I know, I, I, I know what you're thinking. The best thing, I got it. I got it. Uh, the Wiener Circle wrote in their post, we're happy to support all reproductive health decisions. It's up to you, not the government. All patients at the mobile health clinic will get a free hot dog coupon, or is it coupon? Anyway, on us. Thanks, everybody. We will snip your potential wiener and give you a coupon for that. Okay, anyway. Now, Gamala and the Democrats have been advocating and suggesting that abortion access for women must be remain intact ever since uh, the court actually overturned Roe. Well, really overturned Casey, which overturned Roe in the Dobbs decision. Now, in her first campaign advertisement, she highlighted and, 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 and detailed things like abortion rights and transgender pride. Hey! Gamala also previously uh, visited states, states such as Nevada and Florida as she has advocated for abortions. Now, Democrats, as, as, as well as people like Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden, said that former President Trump, I call him President Donald Trump, would institute a national abortion ban. This is absurd. 
This is absurd. It's never been said. Never been said once. In April, the great, the one, the only, the inimitable, the ineffable President Trump clarified in a video on his Truth Social that the issue of abortion and abortion-related um, procedures and the like was about, quote, quote, the will of the people, which he said should be left up to the states to decide. Further quote, many states will be different. Many will have a different number of weeks or some will have more conservative, uh, uh, will have more conservative than others and that's the way they will be. At the end of the day, he says, this is all about the will of the people. You must follow your heart or in many cases, your religion or your faith. That's it. That's it. That's the story. Don't you love the message of these people just no, no, and 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 I and and I, I happen to understand the basis of the Dobbs decision. I understand that there is no such thing called substantive due process. Roe makes no sense, whether people want to understand this or not. I get it. I understand it completely and totally. But I want people to understand as well is the idea that along with many things like the death penalty, it is up to a state to decide this. So if you've got a problem, maybe, maybe you're advocating, maybe you don't think uh, abortion should be legal at all. Fine. It's a state matter. President Trump has never said there's going to be some national ban. It's not going to happen. And that would be political suicide. I'm surprised one day they don't have any... Uh, this is weird. But if... If euthanasia and uh, assisted suicide rights pick up, they might have little trucks as well as long as I go in there. And Anyway, we'll get to that later. What do you think about this, dear friends? Tell me what you think. We have this thing called a comment section. I want to hear from you. I want to hear your thoughts, your comments, your, 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 your views on this. And I beg uh, and entreat and uh, ask and, and importune you to uh, comment Comment, for the love of God, comment as you see fit.